California, the home of the Ducks, a team that was born from a movie and has now become a strong franchise here in the league. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Ducks win the draw and they'll start on the attack. Picked up along the boards by Darlene. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Slick feed. Oh, did he ever rock him in the open ice? Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fault. Well, you can't do that or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. McTavish is gaining momentum. Knocked away with the stick by Darlene. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Sabres are going to be short-handed as they are called for tripping. Here's a first look at the power play. First power play opportunity of the game, and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Jurgensen works the puck in his own zone. They get it out of the defensive end. Quick pass to Henrik. Shot! Let's see by the goalie. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Henrik's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. And that goes off a player. And that's turned aside. They are really dialed in here tonight. Scoops up the puck. Oh, and it's blocked in front. Sends it down low. Back and forth here on the offensive end. Oh, what a save. Scores on the man advantage. He put one hole. And this is exactly why you spend so much time in practice working on specialty teams, James. You can see that good movement to open up lane, just disrupt the box there. take advantage and the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender a ton of net front presence here and that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net anaheim's early lead in this one a direct result cheryl of moving their feet they're moving their feet and they're moving the puck and this gives them a little bit of a cushion to play free and you get your entire bench into the game early you show good habits and you get rewarded for it lukanen's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle Anaheim's been rewarded early in this one by putting lots of pucks on net. The Ducks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Dismiss that chance. Johnson's gained the line and on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Lacombe. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Great reach by Quinn. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Oh, and that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Played big in the moment there. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. The Sabres played along the wing. Levels him with the hit. Tremendous stop by Gibson. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Throws it in. The Sabres have it against the wall. There's a hit on the play. Delayed penalty coming up here. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Now the penalty killers are going to have to be the task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Puts it on net. Bad save by Lutonen. Skinner's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a shot. Oh, he gets hold of 
that one with the pad. Rips it. Oh, on the outside of the frame. Buffalo is starting to generate more chances. This is exactly what you want. When the game is close, you have to find a way to get it back to equal. This one goes off the pipe, but they can't get frustrated. Just continue to pump away and generate those opportunities. Tavish is recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win that neutral zone draw. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Moves it to Quinn. Great reach with the stick by Middlestaff. And the puck's booted away. From the place 99 made famous. The Ducks have possession shorthanded. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. There's an injection of energy with that hit. The Trano's been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. Olofsson swinging the puck through center ice. Taken by Middlestaff. Scores! And they convert on the power play. Well, they drew the penalty because they were competing and they were urgent on the puck, James, and then the same approach came on the power play where they knew how to hound it and retrieve it, and guess what? They're rewarded for their efforts. For an effective power play, you have to move the puck around with precision, and you have to create some motion to open up lanes. That's exactly what happens here. They're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice, and that's how they get the goal. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, we are all tied up in this one. Buffalo's won the faceoff at center. Hard hit frees up the puck. The Ducks take possession of the neutral zone. Buffalo's got the puck in their own end. Picked up along the wall by Dolly. Cuts into the paint. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Joe's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. The Sabres look around near the point. Monster blocker stopped by Gibson. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Oh, that's blocked. There's a hit on the play. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Feeds the puck to Petrinka. Slides it diagonally to Jones. And now he moves it quickly to Carlson. Lays the body into that play. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Greenway's taking it from his own end. The Sabres looking against the half wall. Oh, puts it off the iron. Had the side of the net, but doesn't go. Now the adrenaline's rushing. You're getting yourself to the right spot at the right time with an opportunity to go ahead in the game. And yeah, hit the post and out. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Sabres don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Henrique's won the draw, they'll look to set up. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they clear the puck from the zone. Now, the PK unit has to be aware of where everyone is, whether they're in the middle of the ice, whether they're on the wall, and the angle at which they uh, take it off the glass to make sure they get it outside the blue line. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Here's a chance! Oh, what a stop with the pad by Gibson! The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. Quick shot! And he keeps that one out as he gets a piece of the glove! ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. 
The Ducks win the faceoff. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Looking to knock it out of the zone. And they get it out. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Blocked in traffic. Taken along the wall by Henrik. A shot! And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. A save is a save, James, and this one rattles off of his cage, and that's gonna be a tough one, especially years ago. I'm telling you, the Mass are a lot better today. Continues with this offensive zone draw. Well, yeah, they have a numbers advantage, and they also have the advantage that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. They gotta drive the net, James. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And that's hooked away. Here's a short pass to McTavish. complexity of the game. It's a lot better being ahead than it is being behind, James, and they're ahead now, so they've got the go-ahead goal. They'll want to continue to press. Know that the coaching staff is going to be looking to manipulate the lineup to get the matchups that they want. Listen, their opponent is vulnerable these next two shifts. They need to respond accordingly. Kalorin's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You're taking your third penalty of the period. You got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. The Ducks send their men advantage unit out once more. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. And they send it down the ice. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Cuts to the front. Scores! And there's another power play goal. Wow. Well, practice makes perfect. And you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel. The coaching staff has showed them video of how they want it executed. And they deliver tonight. The goaltenders are just so good in this league, James. If they see the shot, they are going to stop. And so you gotta get traffic in front of the net on this power play. They do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint. Anaheim's extended the lead to two goals here in the first. Well, you can certainly see that there's jump to their step. They have their legs underneath them, and they've really dictated pace and controlled the game. Puck grab by Clifton. Put the hard hat on here. What a hit. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the glove by Gibson. Now a quick pass to Kalorn. Pushes it across to Terry. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Olofsson. Shot, kicked away. Nice pass saved by the goaltender. Quick feed to Kalorn. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. The Sabres gain possession in their own end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And that's poked away by Bryson. Slides the puck across to Clifton. Big hit. Great pressure on the offensive end by Greenway. Johnson's moving it ahead. Knocks it away with the stick. Grabbed along the board by Groove. There's a great glove save by Lukanen. Greenway's moving the puck through his own zone. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. The Ducks have it now. The Sabres grab possession to the puck. Quick pass to Clifton. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. 
Takes the pass. Quick shot. And that one's turned aside. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Petrano's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team, and, and somebody who's just so well liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. And that doesn't reach the net. Great poke check on the reach. Scooped up along the wall by Power. Delayed penalty coming up here. Pinned up along the boards. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Ducks are going to be penalized for a boarding call here. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place to attack is. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. The Sabres have it now. Receives the pass. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. And the puck clears the zone. Moves it quickly over to Quinn. Oh, and he whiffs! And that's intercepted by Brew. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Rocks him! Buffalo's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being scores! There it is on the power play! Their power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really momentum off of it and often when you're drawing this many penalties teams start to play different against you that's great puck movement james working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier and they gain that entry because they got numerical advantage and they capitalized and executed with it buffalo's found some offense and now they suddenly have made this game a lot more interesting here in the second and they changed the momentum you can see it in the body language and the confidence they've got themselves within striking distance of an even game and off the draw they win the face off slides the puck ahead to Carlson. moves it to samuelson let's one go drops him with the glove Gibson's gonna keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play he elects to hold on. Back of the way as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a body. Picked up along the boards by Cousins. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Anaheim's got to hold him in against the wall. Puck picked up by Carlson. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. In close! Turns it away. And now it's over to Tuck. Adds a textbook body contact there. Buffalo's got the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Clifton. And then, look at this! Gains the zone! And they fail to capitalize on the play. And he slides it quickly to Skinner. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And the debris on the ice obstructs the direction of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Henrique. Knocked away by Silverberg. Grabbed in the open ice by Gergensen. The Ducks have it now. Fires it into the offensive zone. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. And now he moves it to Oposo. Broken up at center by Vakaninen. The Ducks have been playing great defensively. Their six are in the right position, but they need to make good on them. This game is awfully close. Anaheim's done a nice 
Nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. The Ducks win it. Great defensive effort with the stick. Taken along the wall by Bakaninen. Oh, a little cat burglar like play with the stick. Nicely done. Break away. Routine pass saved made by Gibson. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. The Ducks take it across the blue line. Quick feed to Paterka. Looks to make a play over to Darlene. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Greenway. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Buffalo's got possession of the puck. And it's a quick pass to Greenway. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Quick pass to Brew. They've got numbers here. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Buffalo's got him along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Fowler. And that's poked away by Quinn. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Dumped over right onto the bench. That's a little awkward. Uh, real awkward, isn't it, James? You can see kind of the extra shoves happening there. And get out of here. You got to pick yourself up and you got to make your way to your own bench. That's a tough one. Quinn's got it along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Samuelson. Trapper save! And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. More than half the period has expired. Anaheim's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Henriques won the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Jones. Fires it on net! Denied by the blocker! Passes ahead from the right side. Can't hang on after that hit. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Uh-oh, and a board-rattling hit right there. Uh, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. Buffalo's on the attack. Moves it to Silverberg. He says, let's get physical on that play. Kalorn's got the puck along the wing. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Here they come on the rush. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. From the left side, they gain the zone. The Sabres gain control of the puck. Trying to gain a step. Just kind of muffles that one. Well, he muffles it because he's in tight. And when you're in tight, you run out of room and you run out of option as well. You gotta find a way to get the puck to the net. Here in the late goings of the period, the Ducks are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Here's a short pass to Power. And he blocks that one. And a smart heads up play with the bank. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Puts it in deep. Buffalo's got the puck. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Makes his presence known on the ice. The Ducks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Groove. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Well, I guess they weren't saved by the bell there. Uh, how's that for momentum? In the last seconds of the frame, you find a way to put it in, and that's going to create a ton of momentum. So now, heading into the next period, you want to garner that momentum and carry it forward. position, gets a piece of it, but it still goes in. Anaheim's 
been the dominant team all night. And look at this, a two-goal lead here late in the second. Yeah, they've worked hard, and really they've been the dominant team. And what's shown on the scoreboard is exactly the way it should be. And they'll be heading into the intermission. And this is one of the things I didn't like as an athlete. When you were playing well, I didn't want to rest. I wanted to keep going at it. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Anaheim's power play has been excellent, James, and it's the reason they're leading in this game. You've got to create, you've got to carry momentum when you're on it, and these specialty teams have been so effective in this game. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Anaheim's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Into the offensive zone. Takes a shot. And he puts that one aside with ease. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Anaheim's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. McTavish has got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Uses the force on that hit. Moves it over to Skinner. Oh, that's a good hit. Scoops up the puck here. The Ducks play it along the boards. Quick feed to McTavish. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Sends a pass over. With the stop. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, turns it aside once again. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Loses his balance on the play. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Kalorn's got it in the defensive end. Quick pass to Silverberg. Off target. Buffalo's got control of it now from their own end. Good read with the stick to break that up. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Anaheim's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. The Sabres take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Scooped up along the wall by Silverberg. Inside his own end moves the puck. And they'll dump it in. The Sabres scoop it up along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Middlestack. Now a quick pass to Greenway. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Samuelson. Big stop right there. Gibson's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their net minder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Buffalo's gained the line and into the zone. To the low slot. And he puts it away to make the save. Angles it over to Gergensen. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Knocked around but keeps it going. Moves it over to Samuelson. Rocks him. And a nice puck check inside the neutral zone. Buffalo's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Clifton. Shot, big time stop. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. The Sabres gain possession along the wall. Clifton's got it against the boards. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Gibson's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. The Sabres win that offensive zone face off. 
Gibson's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Past the midway mark of the frame, we've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. The Ducks take possession off the faceoff. Into the offensive end now. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Bryson's really hearing it from the home crowd right now. They didn't like that play earlier that injured their player, and they're going to let him know it all night long. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. The Sabres will go to work here in the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Skinner. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. The Sabres take over on possession. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Sabres still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. McTavish has won the draw here in their own zone. Anaheim's looking to break out. Delayed penalty looming. Quick whistle stops the play. It's going to be two-minute minor for boarding here. It's a real physical hit along the wall. We know that he doesn't like it. He's going to argue with the official. But nonetheless, it's going to be the call. The Ducks once again send out their power play unit. Gotta love when it feels easy, James. When the power play is working, the puck is moving, there's motion, everything seems directed at the net. Lowers the boom with that hit. One on one with the goaltender. Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one on one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. And that's blocked. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Terry's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Centering pass. And that doesn't connect. Back to the blue line. Here's a chance. Stones up with the blocker. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's without working your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Carlson's ready to take the try here on this power play. The Sabres win the defensive zone faceoff. Handles the puck. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. And he slides it quickly to Fowler. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Well, these are the saves when you know that the goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Just side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. The Ducks have it against the wall. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. There's the physical side. Coming to the slot. Denies him in close. Denies him again. Just fantastic work by the goaltender making consecutive saves. How athletic. Hurst's ready for the draw this man advantage. Anaheim's won the draw, no go to work. Denied with the glove by Lutonen. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. Wax it into the offensive zone. Slides it over with pace to McTavish. Thompson's up and ready to get back on the ice. How did he stop that one? This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bain. Terry's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. He's gone! 